Be open towards the will and plan of God for your life. Do not be misled by what is currently playing out before you. Do not make hasty conclusions based on what is currently going on in your life. Do not make permanent decisions based on the temporary events in your life currently. God is working alongside with you. He is with you every step of the way. Your present condition does not necessarily mean that it is your conclusion. No one knows tomorrow except God. No one sees into the future except God. God knows the end from the beginning. Why are you then behaving as if you know how things will play out or end up? What makes you think this is how your story will end? God is calling on you today. Do not be afraid. Do not fret. Refuse to be frightened or surrender to fear. Your God is with you. He holds you on the palm of his hands. You are the apple of his eyes. He has the final say. His word is yes and amen. His word is final. God is not yet done with you. Do not give up. Keep going and keep fighting. Keep hope alive. Hang in there. Be patient with God. He is not absent. He is right there with you. He sees all the tears and sleepless nights. He knows your pain, worries, brokenness, and hurts. Never take his silence to mean his absence. He cares deeply about you. He can never allow you to be put to shame. You may not know but he is doing something in that your situation. Our God is not a noisemaker. He works in silence. Begin to praise him. Begin to thank you for what he is about to do. Your enemies, critics, and haters will soon be shocked. They thought you have been buried, but they did not know you are a seed that has been planted. They thought it was your end, but they don't know you are about to rise. They are seeing your worst days, but they do not know that you have not even started to see your best days. God will soon make it clear to them that what they thought was your condition is not your conclusion. God is preparing you for a comeback. God is about to repackage you and reintroduce you. They will surely be disappointed at the table God is about to prepare before you. Your comeback will be greater than your setback. Let them watch and see. They will watch with their mouths open as God will turn things around for you. They laughed at you and mocked you. They are about to see the hand of God lift you up. They tortured and killed Jesus and laid him in a tomb and thought it was his end. To their surprise, he rose on the third day. Paul and Silas were arrested and thrown into jail for preaching Jesus. Their haters thought it was their end. God miraculously released them. Daniel was thrown into the lion's then. They the lion was going to maul him to death and feast on him. They were shocked and disappointed when God brought him out unhurt. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego were thrown into the fiery furnace. God brought them out safely and unhurt. God is going to shock your enemies and bring you out of that situation they mocked you for. God's ways are not our ways. Nobody can stop what God is doing on your life. You are carrying something special within you. They failed to see the hand of God upon your life. They do not understand that you are a blessed and a favored child of God. They were blind to the grace of God upon your life. They don't know that one with God is majority. 
Soon, you will be released. Soon, you will come out. Soon, you will break forth and break out. Always remember that God loves you and will never abandon you. He knows all you are going through. Continue to work with Him. He will never forget or forsake you. Amen.